Hi, in this video we're going to show you how to open your VirtualBox VDI disk files to uh, get to your actual files. So let's say we have this uh, Windows 11 virtual machine here and this is on a computer that doesn't have VirtualBox installed and I want to get the files off of the VDI disk file. So there's a couple ways to do this. So there's one way if you want to get the files off of it and I'm going to show you another method if let's say your disk file is corrupt and you want to try and repair it. So the easiest way to get your files off a of VDI file is to use the 7-zip file manager. So it's a free download. You might already have this on your computer. If not, I'll put a link in the description. So you just open that up after you install it. Browse to the location of your VDI file. So here's the file here. You can tell it's the bigger one out of the uh, virtual machine files here. Double click that. And then it'll open up and show you the image files, IMG files, on that particular disk. So then you just need to figure out which one is the one that has your data. So this is the Windows drive, so it's going to have like the system partition, reserve partition, and that kind of thing. And so I could tell here that based on the size, this is the biggest one here. So I double click this. And now you can see it shows me all the folders and stuff on the virtual disk. So I could just click on, let's say, users, username, documents. And there you go, there's the documents, and I could just... Uh, Let's say I want this bookmark file, just drag it to the desktop of this computer, and now I have the file there. So that's a simple way to open your VDI file and get your uh, actual Windows files off of it. So now I'm going to show you another way. So let's say you're having problems opening your file, you have some corruption issue, that kind of thing. You could try this pr program called DRS VDI Recovery. It's not free. It's $80 for a home uh, license. So I'll show you how it works here. So once you open it, you pick if it's a dynamic or fixed disk. This one's dynamic, so I'm going to browse to it. So there's the file there. Click on Next. And you have an option to save it as a disk image if you want to do that. And then this is part where I ran into a problem. So if I leave it as a standard scan and click Next, you'll see it says Unknown File System. And if I click on Next, it says Cannot, cannot Parse Unknown Volume. So to get around that, I clicked on Advanced Scan, and then Next, and then it found it. And then you'll just pick your uh, volume that has your files on it, and then you click on Next. And then if you want to choose the recovery mode, Standard, Advanced, or Deep, click on Next. And then this will go through and find your files here, so we're just going to let this run and pause the video. Okay, so that's done, so we'll click OK to this. And now you can see we have our files here on the left. So if we go back to the same thing here. And we have that same file. We can click here and see it on this side. So now if I want to save a file, you know, pick the ones you want, to, you want to recover. Click on Save. And then this is the demo version, so it's not going to actually do it unless you buy it. So this just kind of shows you that you could actually find these files. So if you do have a corrupt VDI file, then you could uh, try this out. See if it finds your files and then decide if you want to buy it or not, if you need to really get the data off the uh, drive. So I'll put a link in the description for this as well. So like I said, this is good for recovering corrupt uh, VDI files. And then if you just want to get to the files on your VDI file and you know drag them onto another computer, then you could use good old 7-zip file manager. All right. Thanks for watching and be sure to subscribe.